So when you were traveling across the country, what's the number one issue that moms are most concerned with? Absolutely, their top concern mirrors that of the rest of the country. It's the economy. They want to see the economy turn around. Um, job creation plays into that. So many moms we talk to have either lost their job over the last few years or their spouse has lost a job and they want to see growth. They want to see jobs brought back to the United States. Um, How important is the mom vote? I mean, I think that the mom vote is crucial. They're a, a huge voting bloc. If every mom turned out at the polls, they would determine the election. That's pretty incredible. And some of the candidates have talked about, I mean, the Obamas have talked about parenting. Michelle Obama, uh, in particular, has talked about moms and issues important to moms. Um, and Romney has come forward and talked about her boys and raising her boys and, and issues concerning moms. Um, what you said, Let's backtrack because I'm thinking of one of your, your surveys. One of your surveys said moms are concerned about, number one, paying the mortgage and the rent, number two, the groceries, number three, their child's future. Yes. Um, so who's the candidate that came out as the favorite? Uh, the moms that we surveyed, it's interesting because all of uh, the moms pretty much said that they felt like they'd grown more conservative over the last few years, and yet a majority of our moms said that they would vote for President Obama in this election. What's really interesting is that even those moms all said that if Hillary Clinton were, were running for president, they would vote for her over Obama. Oh, so she came out the clear winner by a landslide over anyone. What do you think moms, parents, families really want to hear from Obama and Romney at these conventions? They want candidates to make an emotional connection, and I don't think that they're quite seeing that with either candidate right now. They feel like politicians don't understand what their real lives are like, what their everyday situations are like. They feel, I've heard this again and again, that Washington DC is like a big bubble and that the politicians there have lost touch with the people who put them in office and with the situations that they're going through. The fact that they don't know how they're going to pay their rent or their mortgage. The fact that they worry about putting food on the table. All right, you and I are gonna be at the conventions together. Cafe Mom, HLN, joining forces. What are you gonna be focusing on? I'm really excited about covering the, uh, the conventions in particular because where the traditional media will be you know, showing you the usual suspects, we're trying to go outside of that boundary and talk to real people out there. We're going to be talking to delegates, finding out why it was important for them to be elected as a delegate and to represent their state. We're going to be talking to people who just traveled there to represent military moms or to represent a mom's advocacy website. Um, we're just really looking forward to showing the general mood there showing what people are talking about, um, kind of setting maybe some of the water cooler discussions for the upcoming days.